Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome, my name is Kelly, also known as Raw Ron Kids, and you can find me on YouTube and Instagram and Discord too. If you would like to join my Discord group, you are very, very welcome. Um, today I'm going to talk about all the hats I've knitted, which is a bit of a mad one, I think, but I talked about this a while ago and said that I might do it, and some people said they were interested in seeing, and then I forgot all about it. So um, I decided today is the day I'm going to tell you about all my hats and um, I have dug out as many as I can find. I'm going to take a photo of my pile of hats um, and I'm going to put it up and show you um, the amount of hats that I have and that isn't everything. Um, there is some missing that I can't find. Um, some which I'll tell you when I get to them. Some, um, basically, when I first started knitting design, I started with hats. Um, I find hats incredibly easy. Um, it's, it was my bread and butter for a long time because they just came to me. And now I don't really knit hats anymore because I kind of just got sick of designing them. Um, I used to design a lot for Let's Knit magazine and my bread and butter with them was hats. It's how I got my foot in the door. I sent in four um, hat designs to the editor and said I was interested in designing. She chose three of those hats. Um, I have those with me. Yes, I do. So you'll see the three that she chose. You'll also see... No, you won't. I haven't got that one. The one that she turned down no, I don't have it. Basically because when I first started to design and I needed my own photos for my self-published hats, I wasn't confident enough to do any of the modelling or take the photos. I wasn't a very good photographer. Um, I'm still not great, but I've learned a lot over the years. Um, this started, my design path started in 2011. Um, so it's been a long time and I've learned to do the photography and I've learned that I'm okay at modelling. Not great. Here's my dog. One minute. So yeah, I, um, I started out, I'm not a great model, but I've learned, I've learned how, how I look better than how I used to. On my Instagram I have a, a highlight that shows my terrible modelling at the beginning and it is ha absolutely horrendous. Now I don't get as many bad photos to share because I'm a lot better at knowing what makes me look okay. <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds. Um, so, but back in the early days I didn't have the confidence and I didn't feel like it could be me. Um, I was a lot heavier um, and I just didn't have the, the confidence to do it. And so um, I asked a friend to take photos for me and get some models for me and he did that. So, and because I couldn't pay the models, they took payment as the hats. So a lot of the hats I no longer have because they went off in payment to the model. So, and that's fine, that's fine. They did their job. So I'm gonna start with the first ever hat that I designed, which was I Predict a Riot. Um, and it was basically named because I knitted it in King Cole's Riot. Um, so it was a DK hat. Now I don't have the hat because that model has got the hat. <laughs> Charlotte. Um, but I do have a kid's version of it because I knitted it as a kid's version. Um, and then I never, I don't think I put that into the pattern. It is a free pattern. But I don't think it's got the kid's version in there. Yeah, it just says one size which I don't know why, so I would need to go back and maybe fix that one day. But it's basically, see if you can see. I can't put this on because it's a kid's hat. So it's kind of like a, see how the, it crosses and it causes eyelets? And the crown, I don't know how great the crown is. It's 
it doesn't look too bad but the yarn kind of conceals a lot um, every single hat you're going to see today is creased to bits because they've all been in vacuum bags um, apart from the ones that I wear which is not many considering how many hats I have so yeah um, and that the kids version was never released but that was I like predict a rag it is a free pattern I don't know how good it is <laughs> it's like one of the first things I ever sat and wrote it's actually not the very first the very first was a hat um, called Mossy Pearls, which was um, a beanie hat that had um, a pearl brim and then it was moss stitch on the top. So Mossy Pearls because the moss was on top of the pearls. I don't know why I designed that because it's all curled under and everything. You can see it in the picture that it's curled under and I think that's down as a free pattern, but I don't think it gets many downloads. Um, yeah, it's just... Yeah, strange. The next, so that was the first ever one and it was Mossy Pearls and then I did I Predict a Riot. But for some reason I released I Predict a Riot first. I think I was too scared to release Mossy Pearls. Um, I should have remained scared because it's got a stupid brim. But still, <laughs> I released I Predict a Riot first and then I did Mossy Pearls. And then after that, I followed that up with School Days. So I don't have the School Days hat. I think the model kept that one as well. Um, however, school days is done really weird. So school days started off as a cowl. So you actually knit the cabled section first. And I remember knitting the cabled section and thinking, this is boring. I'm going to turn it into a hat. So then I just decreased the cowl into a hat. It was a really tiny cowl. I decreased it into a hat. And then I picked up the edge and put a brim on. So it's when you knit it, it's really backwards. Um, but it's kind of fun to do. It's like a, a weird construction and I kind of like that about it. So that was school days. And then I followed that with air, which I think I have taken down. Yeah, because it's just rubbish. Uh, it was knitted in DK and I think you held... You held the yarn double, I think. Um, yeah, for the double strand. I think you double standard the rib and then you opened it up for the eyelets. And everything. It was just, yeah, terrible, terrible. So I took that down. Um, and then I did Uncoil, which is a free chunky pattern. Um, chunky hat pattern. Just basic garter. I don't have that either because that model has that hat. And then moved on to Ski Sunday, again, boring, done in Aran weight, it's just a basic um, hat with stripes, it's just a plain hat with stripes, it's another free pattern, Hat has uh, model has a hat, and, and then Sweet Chilli um, was just all ribbed, Sweet Chilli ribs are my favourite, so that's why it's called Sweet Chilli. Um, I should tell you why they're all called, what they're called, shouldn't I? Again, the model, that is Talia, I think she was called. Oh, I can't remember, it's a long time ago. Um, I'm not friends with any of these girls or anything, I didn't know them. So yeah, uh, she had that. And then I went on to Miska. Miska is mouse in Russian, I think, which is why it's called Miska, because she looks like a little mouse. Again, that one has a sideways rib. I think I was trying to be a bit different. <laughs> Um, yeah, boring, just beanie hat with two pom-poms on the side. Rope tricks, I'm actually gutted that I don't have rope tricks and I don't know where it is. So rope tricks is named because of all the fancy stuff you do. Um, that twisted, twisted section in between the diamonds and, um, I really liked that hat. And that looks like a side on, no it's not, it's a moss stitch brim. And then it has this really cool um, crown, which I will show you. But yeah, I don't have, I don't have it. But then I do have Little Bow. So Little Bow, or Little Bow, some people call it, is um, a Little Bow is like a, a, oh, I could be totally wrong now, but it's like part of a tree and it's like the a little branch coming off the twigs, I think. So this is Little Bow. And it's just a basic, oh dear, 
it's just a basic um, cabled beanie and it goes up into, I don't know how much you can see if I do that. I'm hoping you can see the crowns. So it goes up into the crown and the cable in stops. Um, yeah, and there's a slouchy version. This is the version that the model wore. I never wear this because it's a bit, I have a massive head. And this is a bit small for me and I don't, but I should wear it more because it's actually not too bad now. But yeah, I never wear this one. This one's been put away. Um, it's knitted in a discontinued yarn that I can't even remember. I think it's a Louisa Harding yarn. So that was the first sample I have. Um, yeah, so that is the little bow hat. And I, See, this is before I was finding my feet. And um, I realised that I was a lace knitter more than a cable knitter. I don't knit a lot of cables. Little bow and the next one, two, three, four hats were part of an ebook that I did. Um, that I just decided to do. It wasn't for anybody. Uh, what was it called? Seasonal? I can't remember. It was supposed to be a hat for every season. So little bow was kind of like my um, autumny autumny hat, winter, wintery hat. Um, and then the summer hat was Aestis. Now I'm gonna look like an idiot in this and it really doesn't also match my jumper, but um, but here we go. This is Aestis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I do not suit this hat at all, but lots of people have made this hat and they do really suit it and it looks great. So. Aestis is, um, it's just a uh, stocking stitch with like a pearl bump every now and again which decreases so that the crown is all pearl and then it has this um, large brim with lace on um, and a folded hem, hem, brim. So. <laughs> So inside the brim to make it do this is you're supposed to use millinery wire. Look at the state of me. You're supposed to use millinery wire, but I actually just used garden wire and oh no, I do still get messages about this hat asking how to fasten the wire at the end. And I know that millinery wire you can get like things that you put poke the wire into that will close it up but um, I'm going to take this off because I look like an absolute tool um, but I just basically twisted the ends together and like like I looped them together like this and then and then fastened them around each other so my end is, I mean it's in here somewhere and I've never had a problem and this is years old but I also don't wear it um, but I've never had anyone complain about the situation of how it goes or anything. Um, so yeah, that is Aestis. Aestis is the goddess of summer, I think. You're testing my brain. I'm sure it says it on the uh, pattern. Aestis is the Roman goddess of summer. She's naked apart from a bit of wheat in her hair, apparently. So I give her a hat, because you know. So there we go, that is Aestis. That was the summer hat that I did. And then this is Ombelle Fer. That's my French for you. And uh, this is one of my favourite hats. I love this hat. It's so simple. So it basically has these slanting eyelets and then just a coarse brim. It's slouchy and just, I don't know, I just, I think it's the yarn that it's in as well that I just love. So. I knitted this in a yarn that I can't pronounce, Ara, Ara, Araucania, Cove, Cove, I can't say any of that, but that's what it's knitted in and I, I think that's discontinued now, which, yeah, which is gutting because it is just gorgeous, it's just, it's so soft and it's just gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. Um. But yeah, and the colour, I just love it. So that is Umbella Fair, 
on Bella Fair. Um, it, but on Bella Fair is the French name for cow parsley. Cow parsley is this stuff. I don't know what it's called everywhere else, but in the UK it's called cow parsley. When I released this hat, I couldn't think of a name for it. And um, I'd asked in my Ravelry group, which I don't use anymore, but in my Ravelry group, I asked if anybody had any ideas for names. Some people put names up. There was a vote and it was a French lady called Gail and she'd said on Belle Affaire because she said it reminded her of on Belle Affaire, cow parsley. And so that's the name it got, which I loved. And so that is the origin behind the name of that one. The next one is Lane. I'm going to do this so, you can, so I can put a picture up. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Lane. The model kept it. Um, that's Sammy. She won't be watching. She's not a knitter. Um, so Sammy took that hat, kept that hat, I think. But that is Lane. Um, there is an anime. Um, my partner is really into anime. I like anime, but my partner loves anime. Um, and when we first met, he showed me an anime called Serial Experiments Lane. And Lane was the name of the girl in the anime. She was like the main character of the anime. And um, she wore a kind of bear hat. And when I knitted that, it just reminded me of her. And that's why it's called Lane. <laughs> it's not a lot of... Uh stuff behind it that's knitted in um worsted Mar 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 <laughs> oh my god malabrigo worsted it is knitted in um which i bought that's when i started to discover um better yarns um around this point and uh and yeah i knitted that in that and i loved it but it's gone then we had Chicane, which is this one, and another one of my faves. I love Chicane. Now, it is quite big, and I think I need to go back and redesign it in a smaller size because I have a massive head, and it's a big hat. And, I, and it, 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 yeah, <laughs> I need to make it smaller. Um, Chicane is really simple. So it has these pearl ridges, and then the crown is isn't it a cross on the crown i can't remember yeah but it's like a like that um yeah i love chicane um i love the yarn it's knitted in now on my uh Ravelry and in the pattern. It says that I knitted it in Garn Studio Drops, Garn Studio Drops Merino Extra Fine, um, which is a DK yarn. However, I have zero idea what this yarn is, and um, I basically just looked for a yarn that was a DK and in this colour, and then just picked because this was a yarn that was in my stash and had no label. So that's, there's a little bit of uh, naughtiness for you. Um, but yeah, I just, I loved it. So it's called Chicane because it's Chicane's. That's why it's called Chicane. And it is one of my favourites. I still wear it. Who do we have next? Next we have Emmeline. So Emmeline um, was the first hat I knitted for Let's Knit magazine. Um... I got it modelled and then thought, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna send that to Let's Knit. And I don't actually have that blue version um, because the model that's Amy, Amy took that one as payment. Um, but I do have the Let's Knit version, which is in fibre spades. So this is Emmeline. Now Emmeline was named by Let's Knit. So I originally called this Bo Clancy. Bo Clancy is a really, really famous and expensive diamond. Um, and that's why I named it Bo Clancy. But they changed it to Emmeline. So it's like a beanie style hat. It's got a pico brim, which is cute, diamonds. And then it has this spiralling 
chrome. So this was one of the first ones that they accepted. Um, and this is the first ever pattern I had in Let's Knit magazine. And it actually made front page. It was only a little bit on the corner. It wasn't like the big model bit, but it was still front page. And I was like, oh my God, like my first ever pattern is on the front page, which was the front cover, I should say, not the front page, the front cover. So yeah, exciting, exciting. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I was going to say Bo Clancy then, but it is not, it is a maloon. Uh, so I have no, I can't tell you why it's called Emmeline. There was a point where Let's Knit just called everything by like women's names. And I ended up doing that with a lot of patterns that I handed into. Them. So a lot of my patterns are named that way, you will see. But yes, so that was Emmeline. I then did Starla, which is the one that was not accepted by Let's Knit magazine when I first handed in my four. Um, I did end up applying to Knit Picks and I got it into a Knit Picks thing. Um, it was on their website for a while. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't have it because Amy kept it. Um, but yeah, that was the only one. And um, yeah, I think it's a bit complicated for people because it doesn't really do very well. It never did. <laughs> Not a popular one. The next one I did for Let's Knit was one of the four. So the original four was Emmeline, this one, and the next one I'm going to show you. This one was called Precipitation, and they did keep that name, which was very unusual. But it, it just, I think it looks like rain, so that's why it was called Precipitation. Um, this is the original one that was in the um, magazine. I have knitted another one since. A pink and white one but I don't think I've pulled it out but yeah it's just it's my first color work hat uh, very very simple color work this is done um, separately so you knit this brim uh, like a long strip and then you pick up along the edge I don't know why I did it that way like I said before I think I was just trying to be a bit interesting um, so you could always just change that to a rib and then yeah, just a bit of simple colour work. And the pom-pom was meant to be the cloud on the top that the rain was coming out of. There you go. So that was Precipitation, which was swiftly followed by Exhale. And they kept that name too. So Exhale has a rolled brim, again, trying to be different. <laughs> so it's just a stock and stitch brim that rolls up mind your eyebrows and it has this really lovely stitch pattern that reminded me of like taking a deep breath and blowing it out which is why it's called exhale i think it just goes up into the crown um i went back and uh reworked this a few years ago and did the uh ribbed brim as well it's that rolly one and uh <coughs> Yeah, I do like this hat. I never wear it. I don't know why. I like this one a lot. Um, so yeah, I exhale. I think it's in an Aran weight, is it? It is. It's in an Aran weight yarn. And I don't know what this is. I cannot remember for the life of me, but I love the colour of it. So that's exhale. Then I kept up with Let's Knit and I did another colour work and I went to Thales. So Thales, Thales has no pom-pom, the pom-pom is here. I think I used it as a reel to take it off. I don't know, I can't remember. Thales is, he was a Greek mathematician and that's why this is called Thales. So it's kind of like, you've got two stripes. There's like a light gray and a dark gray in mine. And then you have the um, burgundy section. Obviously the, the brim is, you cast on with one color and then you do a corrugated brim. And then you've got three colors, but you're only using two at a time. So it is fair isle um, and it goes right into the brim. Um, yeah. It was my first proper um, Fair Isle design. I don't really do Fair Isle that much. 
I don't know why. So, yes, that is Thales. There's the crown for you. And it's Pom. Then for Let's Knit, I did a summer hat, which is another one of these ridiculous ones that I look stupid in. Um, and this is, they named this. I can't remember what I originally named it. I can't remember at all. Um, they called it Azaleas, like I say, women's, women's names. Um, it doesn't properly fit my massive head. <laughs> and it's got a bit of a bigger brim than the Asus one. I don't know why it does this. <laughs> um, and it's got the garden wire in again. Uh, but yeah, you're supposed to use millinery wire. So this is a stitch called jute stitch. And it's kind of like you um, decrease all the time and then do, like you, you, you cast on a lot and then you decrease them and you add uh, garter ribs in between and stuff. It goes all the way up into the crown. Yeah, <laughs> they just really don't suit me. If I was out in my garden with this, my um, my other half would be disowning me, I'm pretty certain. But I know a lot of people have knitted them and really like them. And I get asked asked for the release of this one a lot. I don't think I've ever bothered with it. Um, it's just, it's only available in Let's Knit. Um, but I, maybe I should. It's just, to me, I'm just like, oh. But maybe I should. It's just that I've got to model it. <laughs> and that's not good. So after Azalea, I went to Hades, which they kept the name for Hades. So this is free pattern on, where's the buttons there? On Ravelry and Pear Hip. Um, oh, my neck. Right, so this is a slouchy, it is very slouchy, uh, beanie style. And it actually has the lace that I used in my limerent socks, which I'll pop a picture up so you know what I'm talking about. So it's the same pattern. Um, it does have two buttons on the side, I'm trying to be different. Uh, I think it's a moss stitch premier, and then the lace goes right up into the crown. Um, it is slouchy. The pattern does have a fitted version available as well. This is knitted in a four ply. This is the first time I ever used four ply and I loved it, but I was still quite into my DK. But it's a pretty hat. Yeah, you don't have to sew your buttons on either. Um, yeah, anyway, that's Hades. Oh, why it's called Hades. Uh, do you know what? I can't remember. Hades. Hades is a bright cluster of stars named after the five daughters of Atlas, often associated with rain. I designed this beret to add some colour to those wet summer afternoons we get in the UK. That's what Let's Knit wrote. <laughs> Not me. Um, I did name it Hades and I did name it Hades because of the rain. Um, that, I, I, that probably is a quote from me. I don't know. I don't know. It's a long time ago. I do not remember. But yes, so there we go. That is Hades. And then I detoured, funnily enough, to um, Knit Now and got a hat into Knit Now magazine and it is called Detour. Um, and it is this one. Where's the one? Okay. So this has been in a bag for ages so it's all stuck up like this. But it is actually supposed to be a bit slouchy. I'm going to put up the original Knit Now photo because it's a much better photo than what I took. I really don't suit this hat and she does. So, <laughs> um, so it has the bow on the side, pico brim and then just these zigzags. It's knitted in, it's in Jameson's Spindrift um, and it is just horrible. <laughs> It's really rough and just, oh, it's really rustic yarn. And when it came, I remember being really disappointed when it arrived and I was like, what is this? But um, I'm sure some things could be lovely in it, but this, just this hat just isn't. But it was supposed to have like a French the French feel to it. And um, and I think it does, does have that. 
um, and that's why it's called detour uh, spelt with the accent across the e because um, obviously it's detouring because of the zigzags again <coughs> but it's got that French flair shall we say and the little bow which you don't have to put on if you don't want to put the bow on it's just a added bit so there we go that was detour and then um, next is uh, Monroe which let's nip named so Monroe um, is a full set of matching gloves hat and a cowl and um, the cowl isn't actually on Ravelry but it needs to be so this is blowing out but I think you can see yeah it just has like pearl a pearl uh, diamond pattern going throughout it up into the crown and it's a slouchy slouchy beanie um this is not being re-released by me and i need to sort that out i don't know why i'm just lazy <laughs> it's because of the photos i hate taking the photos i need to get them done um right then where did we go we went to violet so, Vionet is another DK hat. Um, this was another one out of Let's Knit. And it's a... It's one that's really hard to show. So, Vionet has these... You can see... They're going up like this. But it, it's not all the way around. So, it's like garter. And then these. So, as you spin it... <laughs> it's going to be lovely. Oh dear, as you spin it around, see? Right, let's take it off because look what it's done to my hair. So, yes, you don't have to spin it around when you're wearing it. But that is basically Vionette. So there's also matching gloves to this. Um, I feel like in four O's, it doesn't... It's really hard to pick up. Now that's picking that up really well. But it's really hard to pick it up in four O's. Um, and you can't really see what's going on. So I think that lets it down. The yarn's quite busy for it and stuff. But yeah, it goes all the way to the crown with its garter and things. So it's, it's yeah, Vionette is, um, oh, it's to do with cutting on the bias. Um, so Madeleine, Madeleine Vionette, she was French. Um, she popularised the bias cut within the fashion world and is crediting for inspiring a number of recent designers. So she cut on a diagonal and that's why this is called Vionette. See, I do, I do. Sometimes, sometimes I do go there. Then we had Holly. Um, Holly... I can't remember if I named it or if Let's Knit did. I think it kind of reminded me a little bit of Holly. But it's probably more likely that I was just picking a girl's name. This hat is pretty big. It's big on me and I've got massive head. Um, it's very slouchy. But um, it needs a smaller size putting in there. Oh, I like that pink on me. That's very nice. Um, <laughs> it's got a moss brim and then this pretty lace which i'm going to use again i'm going to put this in some socks or something because it's lovely and um yeah yeah not much else to say about that i think it's in a dk because it feels quite thick is it dk yes sublime yarns baby cashmere yeah but that is holly and it does need it does need another size putting in there at least. Then I did um, my least popular design ever, which is Cloud Nine, which was chosen by Let's Knit. And it was a Fair Isle hat and mittens set. So this is the hat. So it's a double brim. And it just has these, this is the inside look, it just has these. It's just one by one, going all the way up. And then you pause to do the crown, and then you stick a pom-pom on the top. 
it's I mean it's not exciting is it but I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh it's not an exciting hat but you know it went into let's knit have I really I might not have re-released it oh I haven't I was gonna say I've never sold a copy but I won't if I don't release it. This is how it works. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's all right. I don't think I've ever got any decent pictures of it, but I'll have to try that again. But yeah, it's got matching mittens, which are, um, what are they called? Where the, this bit flips off. Them, it's got them mittens with it. There we go. Then we have Verse. So, um, I can't remember what listen it called this, but they didn't, oh, pumpkin pie or something they called it. I don't like naming patterns after the colour that you've used because I think that's redundant. Like, um, this is, this is Pink Fizz by Andrea Mowry. And because it's called Pink Fizz, I don't really like pink, but I could not picture it in a different colour. It kind of like, it, it tunnel visioned me and I don't like doing that to people. So this is a lovely top, do not get me wrong. I really like it and I'm glad I knitted it in pink because I do actually like it. But because it's called Pink Fizz, it tunnel visioned me. So um, yeah, that's why I don't, I don't like calling it by, I don't like uh, pigeonholing a pattern by using a colour in its name. So they called it Pumpkin Pie, so I flipped that. Um, and it's called Verse because it's reversible. Um, this is the side that I'm not a massive fan of. But it looks like grapes. It's blowing out a lot. It's, it's more rusty than what that's showing you. And then this is this is no, no, no. this is the side that I like. So um, yeah, another big hat. It is big. Um, I need to sort this. I don't know why I, used to, I don't know why my hats are quite big. Whether they've stretched. I really like the brim on this. It's like an eyelet brim and then you go straight into the pattern and it doesn't curl at all. Um, but I do need to add a new size in there. And then obviously the crown. Yeah, I do need a new size in there. Um, then, this is one that people ask me for all the time i get emails about this pattern and messages on ravelry so much but i feel that it needs a lot of work so basically this is called heta which is hood in icelandic um let's it called it purple dream again color here we go so <laughs> Hello. So this is Heta, right? It is massive. It is absolutely huge. Um, really big hood with a cowl on the bottom. So, I mean, it's really nice and snug and lovely. And I could just release it as it is. It's been through testing again. And um, there's a couple of little issues that I need to fix. I might run it through another test, but I just kind of think maybe it should be knitted in an Aran just to make it a bit smaller. Like this is the hood on completely. It's just so big. <laughs> it's such a big hood. Um, so, so yeah. I asked someone emailed me last week and said any more progress on this, and I'm like. Oh, I really should get on it, but I'm just not certain what to do. Um, maybe I'll put both options in and do an Aran one. I don't have Aran yarn, so I need to oh, get some. But yeah. <laughs> so, oh, this is what it looks like when it's not on. I have to do it this way. So it's kind of like a... It's not moss stitch. <clears throat> it's like a bobbly diagonal pattern. And then <clears throat> you have this hood with like 
um, I think it's decreases and then increases going back yeah but I don't know I need to sort it don't I because I think it could be good so that is Heta so next we have um, honeycomb hat but it's just basically it is bobbles 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 and more bobbles all the way into the crown it is just bobble bobblicious if you like your bobbles on the other side is this lovely honeycomb type pattern um, it does have matching gloves which have the honeycomb around the wrist and then it's proper gloves um, <coughs> I'm gonna lose my voice today but I'm absolutely rubbish at knitting gloves. They're just, they're just not something that I enjoy doing. And I need to release the gloves. I need to photograph them. But this is honeycomb, honeycomb hat. That's all it's called. Um, yeah. I like it. I really do like it. Um, but I think you would have to prepare yourself to knit it. It's so many bubbles. <laughs> then we did uh orchard kiss that was named by let's knit that is nothing to do with me um i think i called it zap <laughs> because it's like well you can see why i called it zap can't you the zigzagging like pow. it looked like magic tricks to me um yeah so this is I don't know why it's called Orchard Kiss. It's just such a random name. Um, yeah, basic rib and then these zapping. There is a matching cowl as well. Um, yeah, Orchard Kiss. And then we had Rustic. Uh, let's not call this Rustic Charm. I shortened that to rustic because I didn't like rustic charm. So rustic is um, you cast on with your CC colour, do your rib, and then you've got this lace in between garter, um, contrasting colours. You can do this all in one colour. Um, when I originally submitted it, I did it in one colour and two colours just to show them, and they chose the two colour option. It does have matching fingerless mittens, and it is... A nice slouchy pom pom. Um, I think there's an option for a fitted version. I normally do. If I do a slouch, I normally do a fitted um, measurement in there for you as well. But probably another one that needs a smaller size. I'm quite bad for just knitting one size hats, and um, and I own up to that. I am bad for it. Um, I think I will go back and alter them and add in smaller sizes eventually and update them all. Just because not everybody has a huge head like me. So yeah, so that is rustic. And then this one hasn't been re-released. Look at the state of my hair. It was obviously going to happen today, wasn't it? Um, I haven't written this up for re-release and I need to, but this is, it's just called Basket Weave Beanie because it hasn't been redone or anything. So it's still down as the Let's Knit thing. They basically asked me to design a hat that was um, good for beginners to be knitting in the round, um, but kind of like taught them about knitting in the round so that like, um to get stock and stitch you would have to knit all the time and to get um the reverse you'd have to purl all the time rather than knit purl knit purl if you'd been knitting flat do you see what i mean so that's why the basket weave beanie was made and it was put in into let's knit as like a, a training hat um it goes all the way into the crown yeah it's just a it's not it's not exciting or anything but that is the basket weave beanie also in dk <laughs> and then I had dune dune beanie dune dune beanie which um has been my profile picture for a long time just because i liked the picture um but the hat is not popular <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you 
it's not a popular hat and i don't know why because it's kind of cute um i'm just gonna try and block that sun a bit so it's just like a basic lace work pattern um these go up into the crown so you kind of get like a bit of a pointed crown i don't know whether that puts people off i kind of like it though it's a bit different um and it's slouchy it's got a matching cowl um it's just a short cowl it's not a double wrap cowl but there's no reason why you couldn't make it a double wrap cowl i'm gonna have to try and edit this one to try and bleach it a bit so you can see it better bleach it a bit darken it a bit but yes that is dune i kind of like dune and then we have stormy seas um I can't remember who picked the name for that. So, I'm going to dig some of these out. These have all just been in my um, vacuum bags and some of them I quite like. So Stormy Seas is this weird lace pattern. I can't even tell you what it does. But then it's got like um, these diagonal eyelets and there is a matching cowl for it as well. Um, which is a short or long, I think. Um, yeah, it's DK again because you know me and my DK. But yeah, that is that is Stormy Seas. I'm trying to get a bit faster because I am aware that I still have another pile to get through, and uh, and I've been on for three button presses on my camera, which is 20 minutes ago. Um, the next one is Shawbray Cat. I re-knitted this because this original one, which was knitted for Let's Knit magazine, was huge. And I re-knitted it and resized it. And um, But I can't find the yellow one from the picture anywhere. Um, so this is the one I have, which is the original from Let's Knit. So it is big. Um, basically, with Shawbrick, you do these eyelets without any... Uh, decreasing so you're getting more and more stitches and then you decrease them all down really quickly in these like pearl bumps so and then you increase 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 decrease like this and then the crown looks like a beautiful flower I don't know how much you can see but I love the crown on this hat it's like one of my favorites yeah and it's a nice slouchy hat um, it does have extra sizes in. I did fix that when I went back to it um, and gave it some extra sizing so that there's a smaller version in there for it. So yes, there we go. So Shaw break because it looks like um, it's it looks like Shaw the, the Shaw breaking on the on the beach. Yes. Okay. Then we have the diffraction hat. So if you have uh, followed me for a while, you will know that I have diffraction socks, but I also have the diffraction hat and cowl. So um, this is what I call a diffraction pattern. So it kind of, diffraction is um, a process in which a beam of light or other system of waves is spread out as a result of passing through a narrow aperture or across an edge that's what diffraction means so I always think it looks like it's narrow 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 and then it spreads out like that and then it goes back into narrow so that's why it's called diffraction um and yeah it's I think it's pretty there is a matching cowl to this and then obviously the socks um is also there there's also a pattern in this stitch pattern <laughs> Um, yeah, not a lot to say other than it's in DK and it goes all the way into the crown with those lovely little bits. There you go, diffraction. Then this one needs me to sort it. Um, this has been called Fall Favourites by Let's Knit, it wasn't originally called that. I can't remember what it was originally called, um, but it won't be called Fall Favourites when it's re-released. So this is kind of, yeah, it kind of shoots out like this and it's got these bits in. Um, it's got a matching cowl as well. 
uh, another DK hat. I don't wear this one and I actually really like it. I think I suit the yellow a bit, but yeah, I just never wear it. And I should. I need to model it. I think that's why I don't wear it. I don't tend to wear anything until I've modelled them. And then I know that I can like drop them in puddles and it'll be okay. Um, yeah. The one after this is Beautiful Beanie. I can't find it anywhere. Um, I've been asked to re-release this a number of times and I really need to. However, I don't have the com I don't have the file, the original pattern file on my computer. It has vanished. Um, and because of that, I need to find my original notes and rewrite it out. I can't even find it in the magazine. It was in Let's Knit. But I can't find it. Um, I think it was in like a pamphlet for Let's Knit. Like when you get the magazine, then you get like a side pamphlet with different patterns in. I think it was in that. And um, yeah, I don't know where it is. So I need to sort that because it's a really, really nice pattern. And um, I get requested for it a lot. So, and it won't be called Beautiful Beanie. It wasn't called Beautiful Beanie. Um, then I did Into the Meadow. Into the Meadow is my most worn hat. I love this hat but it is big and it needs an extra um size putting in into the meadow is a little bit difficult to see but i think you can see it on this camera um it's basically like looks like little butterflies or flowers um going all the way up they go right into the crown and um, it is slouchy it doesn't have to be slouchy there is options and it's knitted in is it an aaron it's a worsted, it's Malabrigo Rios, so that's a, a worsted yarn. Um, but I just, I love this hat, I just love it. Um, yeah, into the meadow. Then I went back to Knit Now and, uh, and did a few for them. And I did Thorn Hat, which I really need to re-release. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog. You know what she's like. So... This is Thorn Hat. This is a mosaic hat. Um, it's not Fair Isle. You only knit with one colour at a time. Believe it or not. Um, and it just looks like thorns to me. Um, and so that's why it's called Thorn Hat. Um, yeah, it's knitted in a chunky, yeah. It did also make a child's version for them in the opposing colours. Uh, yeah, that doesn't fit me. I'm going to try and make Rowan wear it. Um, but so that is Thorn. That needs to be re-released. I have got the rights back, so I can. I just need to photograph it. Do you see the theme? Me and my photographs. It's not my favourite thing to do, see. The one after that was Tides. Tides, I don't have a Tides hat. Um, I don't know where it is. I do not know where that hat has gone my tides which is quite sad because i like that hat but yeah it'll be around somewhere after that was corasan a lot of people don't know how to say that i say corasan it is a type of the reason it's called corasan for me is because it's a type of wheat and i thought it was pretty a pretty name but apparently it's also a place yeah it's a corasan the corasan province in afghanistan in iran so um yeah, I didn't know that, but I, I do um, think of it as wheat, because it's also a name for wheat. So, Khorasan is tiny, tiny cables. There is Khorasan socks as well. It has this um, double double ribbed eyelet brim, and then these um, tiny cables. They're just twisted stitches all the way into the crown. It is a slouchy one. Um, I wear this a lot. I do really like this hat. I do also need to make a smaller size because once again, I knit things for my massive head. But yes, that is Khorasan. Um, and I really like it. Then back to the magazine. That was a self-published one. But I went back to the magazine and I did what they called hypnotic hat. I don't think it, this will remain. Um, I do need to photograph this and release it. Um, this is um, 
mosaic stitch so you only use one colour at a time it's by slip stitches it is not fair isle um, the inside looks like this so you can see there's no fair isle going on it is just one at a time um, one colour at a time and it makes this amazing hypnotic pattern um, and I am working on socks in this pattern as well which I haven't forgotten about, I just have put them down and not picked them up, um, which are called Daedalus, um, so who was the inventor of the maze, I think. Um, so this is probably going to be called the Daedalus hat, I would assume, when I eventually get round to getting it out there. Um, another mosaic hat, which was done for Let's Knit, um, with a matching cowl. So, um... They've called this zigzag hat, um, I think I called it vertex, um, which is the highest point, the top of apex, or each angular point of a polygon. I just, that's why it's called vertex. Um, it is mosaic, again, there is no, you only use one colour at a time. Oh my god, my dog's being so noisy, isn't she always? Um, and it goes right into the crown. I can't, what is this yarn? Because it is the nicest yarn. It's so soft. Ah, West Yorkshire Spinner's Bow Peep. It's beautiful. It's so soft. Bow Peep Pure. It's a DK. I will show you inside. So you can see that it is literally one row. It's not, it's not fair isle. And it makes this gorgeous star on the top, which I love and yeah good with pom-pom or without but if you put pom-pom on you block off your star but yes i need to wear this it's been in a box um with stuff they sent back to me recently and i really need to get on that then i did venation venation was a hat that i'd released a while before but it just wasn't quite right um so i worked on it again and made this version is it's got a double brim it, and then it's twisted stitches, but with each twist you use a different colour to make this um, leaf wing type effect. So the name Venation is basically, Venation is the arrangement of veins in a leaf or on an insect's wing. So, and that's what I thought this looked like. Um, it goes right up into the crown. It is... Um, a spicy spicy hat it is not for the faint-hearted it is quite a difficult knit because you do have to remember what color you're using each time um mine kind of the orange kind of overtook the cream i'm going to put up uh, lizzie's picture which is what i use as my um cover on ravelry because hers with her using the cream or well silver i think with her using a contrast colour as the darker colour, rather than the way I did the contrast colour being a light colour, hers pops a lot more. So, um, yeah, but I love this hat. I really wanted to do socks in it, but it's very, very tight. Because um, it's twisted stitches and colour work, it becomes quite tight, and so you've got to be really careful with it, and it just doesn't work for socks. So I'm good. I'm going to keep trying, though. Finally... The last hat that I've released, which is, it seems a shame now going through all these because I was obviously enjoying my hats, but um, it's the Arrowroot Beanie, which was um, just a self-published hat. And it is these lovely arrows going up with the garter in the middle. And it goes all the way to the crown with a one by one rib. Um, this also comes with there's a double rib for it and it has child sizes and see I did start getting into doing different sizes for hats but it was like yeah <laughs> ages later but that is so that is all my hats that's every hat I've knitted um I don't think I've really knit other people's hats so I don't but I mean I don't need any more hats in my house do you know what I mean but I have got a hat on my make now because I love it so, so I'll still be making hats. But yes, I am I'm gonna shoot off because I've been here ages. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
and um, thank you so much for stopping by. I will do more videos like this if you enjoyed it. Let me know below. Let me know if you've got a favourite or um, if there's one you hadn't seen before or I don't know. Just let me know what you think down below. And um, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. It always helps. And, um, and if you're new here and you'd like to come and see me again, please click subscribe, ring that bell, all the rest of it. You know, you know the drill. Um, I'd love to see you back. Um, my dog is currently walking through the room again and making lots of noise. That's just a general rule of thumb around here. The dog has to interject in some, some way or the other. So yes, I'm going to go because I've been here ages. Um, have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.